All right. Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Thursday. What's today? Today is actually the 19th. Oh, my God. We only got one week from today is going to be Thanksgiving. So it looks like we're going to have a closed market. We only got about a couple more days left until we have a lot of chaos going on. And then uh, I'm expecting to be a pretty slow day on Wednesday. Friday, always pretty good on, on, on the 27th, the day after Thanksgiving. So especially with COVID going on, I don't think anybody's going anywhere soon. But Listen, we have a you know a great event for you today. We got uh, we got open house that's going to go on again today at twelve o'clock. We got classes going on for all the students here at Cyber Trade University. Uh, we had Tom uh, Tom Sosnoff this week. We got the recordings up and running. We'll send it over to you guys. Definitely want to review those again if you didn't miss out. And we got a lot of good swing trades that are working out for us, and also pretty decent day day trade. We got a good stock ADTX right now that's really channeling between a two twenty and two thirty, two twenty, two thirty. I mean, you could just basically scalp the stock in pre-market and do great. Um, it's got a little bit of a big resistance levels here at 230. If it does break it, the stock obviously can go up a lot higher. So I'm definitely keep a close eye on it. We'll talk a little bit more about it. But before we do that, everybody, uh, let me just fix the screen over here so everybody can see and see what we've got going on over here. All right. So a um, couple of stocks I want to talk about what happened on yesterday. What happened yesterday? We had a few decent stocks. That did pretty well. I finished early yesterday. Had a pretty decent day. Um, I want to start off with the KNDI. All right. So KNDI has been doing great for us. You could see that stock um, as of even just saying pre-market things doing great. I'll just fix this a little bit more. But uh, that stock has been a $10 stock. It already shot to 13 in pre-market. It was up big in pre-market and after hours yesterday. But yesterday, we had a nice little move. KNDI, I've been a fan for a while. You could see long-term chart. Stock obviously has a really nice $6 move in the middle of November, just about less than a week ago. And it's literally almost up 100%. Remember, I say it all the time. You want to be a good swing trader? You got to know how to day trade. You want to know how to you want to know how to um, be a good options trader? You got to be a good day trader. How do you know what to trade if you don't even know what's happening over the course of the day with the stock? So again, some pretty decent moves with those things, and we'll keep a close eye on that. A couple of the stocks uh, that we traded yesterday that did well. Uh, let me bring up another one, KZIA. That's another one that's been on a really nice little tear. Six dollar stock up to fifteen. You could see yesterday ran from 11 to 16, and then obviously it came right back down. A little bit of a nasty shake going into the close. You know, we had a big correction yesterday. I mean, I guess everybody heard all the news. They closed New York City schools. Let me tell you, you got to be at the right place at the right time, okay? So what the hell is going on when they do that? I and mean, you can see the market, boom, in a blink of an eye, just tank. Remember what I told you, you know, being here every single day that you're here. When it comes to trading... Okay, New York City controls about 10% of the U.S. economy. Everything is driven in New York. If you love New York, you hate New York, whatever it is, I'm just being fact. The facts are this is the financial capital of the world. Um, this is where the Diamond District is, the Financial District is. This is uh, the uh, the Fashion District. I mean, everything is really can run right here. And, um, you know, when they close New York schools, okay, listen, I... There's no secret around it. We have the worst mayor in in New York City, okay? At, and even, no matter if you're a Republican or Democrat, even the Democrats hate him, too. I don't even really think he knows what he's doing because what are people supposed to do today? People got to go to work. And they just found out last night that they can't go. And now what's going to happen? So, boom, within a blink of an eye, the market drops 350 points. So, you know, you might hear Chicago closing down or certain states closing down due to COVID. And, you know, it is something serious. We keep an eye on it. But, you know... You know, I, I I don't think he's got it right. I don't think he's got it right. He really is going to hurt it. But for us, it was a great opportunity, you know, that he opened up his mouth. He closed the schools because that was a great opportunity to go short. And I think everybody cleaned up yesterday. I think everyone did well as a trader. So when it comes to that, that's basically where things go on. Um, all right. A couple of things I want to talk about. So anyway, so we know the mark came down. We're down about 80 points right now. You know, so um, does it mean that there's things that we could trade that we still can't trade and, and and make money with it? So we had that. We had the JMIA. That one also did great. You know, you could see a stock run from 18 to 25. And then the DNK. That one also had a pretty decent move. You could see long-term chart. That stock literally ran from a buck 
all the way to almost $5 yesterday. Another stock. It wasn't the easy stock to in the middle of the day to day trade, but overall, it was pretty decent. You, you know, listen, you saw what happened with the presidency. You saw what happened with New York schools. You know, politics really could affect the stock market in a blink of an eye. Okay. Really in a blink of an eye. So that's why, like, when you hear something, you know, you got to say something and it, it's going to affect certain stocks. So we want to keep a very close eye on those big, big moves that we're trading in. All right. So what do we got going on here? All right. So we got a couple of stocks that are basically bouncing around. Let's go and jump and jump in there and see what's happening. So we got the A list. We got the B list. Let's start off with the A list as usual. So F cell has done great with us. She was on my A list. You know, yesterday was another stock that was a big, big mover. I wanted to wait until now to bring it up. But you could see that stock went from four to 580. That was a really big winner. But then all of a sudden, right around one o'clock, she kind of retraced. She had a good little uh, pre market fill, but she's starting a little bit of a downtrend. Um, not really a good sign where it's hovering right around that support. I think I said in the trading room that um, early this morning, JP Morgan uh, downgraded it. And I think it's probably pretty, pretty much a short squeeze. I don't like trading stocks that go up too fast. I told you this. This happened exactly with Pinterest. Okay. Now, I'm a huge fan of Pinterest. I'm doing great on the swing trade. You can see right here how fast it went up. A lot of us owned it right around, um, I think it was around 42, I think. We ran it up up to 70. We cleaned up, and the thing tanked on us. I got out around 62, and then uh, I bought it back around like 61. And I'm having I have it since 61 right now. So I'm doing good on a swing trade. It was pretty decent day trade yesterday, but overall it was kind of a little tricky here when it came down to um trading that stock right there. So uh, but it's not you know, it's it, it's been it's doing really well on the swing trade. All right, so we got that one. Uh what else we got? We got uh Husson H U S N. That one also is moving up pretty nicely. Once again, it's a penny stock. You guys heard what happened. Um and once again, go to the recording and watch the interview I had with Tom Sosnoff. Remember, he was talking about we were talking about penny stocks. Listen, anyone that's a professional trader that's been trading for a very long time could tell you the issues with penny stocks. Okay, um, there's an issue with it. You got to be careful. There's a reason why you got to be careful with it, and that's why you know I don't want to go into detail. I'll tell you what it is, but if you know. If you have any respect of certain mentors and some of the best masterminds in the trading industry, they'll explain it to you why. But anyway, we still trade it once in a while. We still make money with them. But you see a stock go from two up to five, back down to 250. You know, it's not what you want to you want to focus on. That's not fun. And I know a lot more people that get crushed more than anything trading those penny stocks. All right. Uh, F-E-N-G. Gapped up. Decent move, high frequency trade. You can see 7.2 million shares traded. This one, I would be very, uh, this stock was a little bit on the A list, but he's starting to build a little bit of the Fausto flag. So I might consider it, maybe throw it back on the B list. Let's go hop on the B list to see what's going on here. Sonos. Why is Sonos up? I don't know. Maybe people can stay in home all day. They have nothing else to do. So Sonos is actually doing pretty well. You know, on, it got a really good uh, push. I guess earnings announcements, seeing that at four o'clock, exactly at four for it to go from 1721. I don't know if it really is a, a um, really is a uh, earnings announcement, but from, from experience, I could just tell just by something came out at four o'clock and usually earnings come out at four. And when you see a spike like that, you kind of have to make two and two, two together. So that one is actually moving pretty well. Just be careful, buy on rumors, sell on news. KNDI, I'm putting it back on the watch list. So KNDI has been doing great for us, has a nice little push. She started, um, she had a great after hours trading. She started back off right here. You got to go look at yesterday's support levels to kind of know where it's going to bottom out. HPR, another one that's also big, big pop up, came back down pretty damn volatile. Listen, some of these stocks got big spreads. Josh did phase one class with you. One of the very most important classes, in my opinion, to be a good trader, because you got to know what's tradable and not tradable. I talked about it yesterday. The three T's tradable trend and trap. Got to focus on those three things or you got yourself in trouble there. Okay. The first T is the most critical. Well, um, LB L brands stocks up pretty nicely in uh, after hours had a nice push from 33 to 38. Also it's going up pretty nicely. So that stock just broke, you know, a pretty nice high right there. 
Uh, only issue with this one, LB, once again, the first tee, tradable. Look at the spread. The spread is the most expensive part. Don't look at just because the, the stock is cheap. You can get in and out of it. Spread is very, very critical. COTY, another one. I want to keep a close eye on it. It's been a really nice push here from three to five, but now it looks like she's starting to back off. A little bit of a Fausto flag right there in pre-market. You could see it right there. Let me bring this up to a one-minute chart. See a little bit better. She's starting to trend down a little bit. Got a couple of big, ice, uh, decent orders out here, but I'm not seeing any big iceberg orders. All right. So that's the only thing. A couple other stocks I want you to keep an eye on. Um, you're probably hearing some good news that's going on with... Hog, uh, they got into the bicycle business, I guess. Uh, Harley Davidson's now starting to be a little bit more getting out of the box a little bit. I guess um, that's pretty good in their in their in their industry. I just I thought it was a pretty cool when I saw it, but pretty damn expensive. You know, I don't know about you, but let me just throw my two cents out there. I thought like like electric cars should be cheaper, not more expensive. Like when you look at the functionality of an actual car, and you look at the functionality of a I mean engine. How many moving parts and everything and all these pieces. And you look at electric car. It's like no moving parts. I just don't understand why electric cars are more expensive. Maybe some of you guys could send me an email and explain it to me. Because... First of all, Tesla is doing great. Tesla is just literally going to knock it out of the park right here. Remember, and they did reverse stock split. They did reverse stock split. The guy is... He's going to be... If he's not, he's going to be... The third richest person in the world. My God, the guy is my age. Could you imagine being the third richest person in the world? That is unbelievable. Uh, battery be sh batteries should be cheaper, George is saying, um, in the future. I mean, it's a battery for crying out loud. Why is a battery so damn expensive? There's no, there's nothing there. You know, all the steel that's involved and everything. A couple other people give me a couple. Of, it's all about the money, Car uh, Car uh, Carl saying. Supply and demand, okay. Jerry said he surpassed Amazon. Is that crazy? I mean, think about it. Look at how big Amazon is, right? All the cars and the trucks. This guy only has this one damn car. That's it. This, I mean, Amazon has got a lot of moving parts. So yeah, Bezos is very wealthy. But I would like to see, um, I, you know, but he, he's smart. He's focusing on one thing and one thing only, you know, and that's obviously working out pretty well for him. SpaceX, you know, he wants to, you know, listen, the guy is thinking he's probably hands down the greatest entrepreneur I've ever met. I mean, literally, when you really think about it from where he started at the age he started, you know, I know, he, uh, you know, it's just it's just unbelievable. Great. I mean, and we need more of those people in this world to kind of, you know, to keep that world going. Entrepreneurship is the future of, you know, the world and it's a guy like him that to actually prove it to you. So that's awesome. But I still don't get it why they're so expensive, those cars. I just don't get it. I thought they were cheap, and I thought they would be cheaper. You could buy a car, brand new car, for like ten, fifteen thousand, dollars but you got to buy an electric car, and it's like double the price. I don't get it. Uh, brilliant mind. By the time I'm eight years old, I read uh, all the books in the library. <laughs> Kramer says hydrogen batteries are better than electric batteries. Neil, listen, I know we got to get ready for the open, but that's something that I was trying to tell you. That's why... I think Nikola, you know, we're doing well on Nikola and we made a lot of money on Nikola, but I don't know. I just personally think hydrogen is probably a better bet than batteries. I mean, I mean, if we got all the water in the world. You just have to separate the hydrogen out of the oxygen and it runs cleaner, safer, and uh, you don't got to dig and mine and go to China and get all those batteries that they got. You know, I mean, so I think it's a lot, a lot better of a thing. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I just always was always a fan my whole life with hydrogen. BLDP is hydrogen too. Uh, BLDP. Yeah, I mean, listen, there, there's a lot of that industry out there. And listen, General Motors already stepped in and tried to buy a little Nikola too. So keep an eye on that. So anyway, let's get back to the trading, guys. Market's opening up in a little bit. Let's go fill up our coffees. Let's get ready for the open. Let's get ready to make some money. Remember, today at 12 o'clock, we got open house. We'll see you there at 1030. We got class here. Um with uh, lesson one, uh, phase one, lesson two and th three and four. We'll see you there. And then if you missed us, don't worry, we'll be back here at twelve th uh, at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting for everybody here on YouTube and Facebook Live. And if you guys want to register and come in the trading room and you want to see the original trading room, if you're watching us now, maybe it's a delay, whatever it is, just click on the bottom, like us, friend us, join us, watch some other good videos, get alerts. 
and uh we'll see you back and you know whenever we do our events every day here good luck everyone happy trading and be safe